back to Metal Rules TV where the underground is the playground of Lawrence Wallace. Necrodemius. Jeff Rappaportis. Mattis. <laughs> Rappaportis. <laughs> Nippolis. <laughs> are you, are you uh, related to Uranus? Yes. <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> In the news. Here. Acheron. Is it Acheron or Acheron? Acheron. Acheron. I figured you, you would know these guys. Akon, he's a Yes. Um, I had the pleasure of uh, actually being in a band that opened up for them three years ago. Um, I was the basis for Cursive Fire back in the day. And uh, we were actually getting ready to release a 10 inch around that time. So um, the record label actually had, had us go up to New York and we actually opened up for them. Um, I got to meet Vincent Crowley for like maybe five minutes. Um, for, I didn't get a chance to watch their set. It, he's a really cool guy. Um, Kyle Severin sounded really cool. Um, Asheron has been around forever. They've been around since the advent of death metal. Um, and uh, he's definitely one of the most serious Satanists uh, in the underground. So, what I, what, I, what I actually make note of that is, is exactly what you said. The fact that their longevity. I mean, when I started Metal Rules magazine in 1997, they were around because I remember talking about them. And uh, they were like, Origin was around for a really long time. I remember dealing with them and World of Decay, another band. Yeah. Who's actually good friends of ours now. But it's, all these guys are like. Uh, Joe Hartman. I knew a drummer that played in that. Justin DeVito. Yeah. yeah. He recorded but, actually this CD. He recorded the drums on there. See? It all, we all tie together, baby. That's it. So it's all Justin back. Justin DePena also was in a black metal band uh, for a while called Vukalak. He was in that too? Yeah, he did Vukalak. <laughs> He's a busy beaver, that guy. Yeah, he did uh, one album with Vukalak. Actually, uh, it was him, uh, Jason Sadati, and another guy that I knew. I don't know. Have you ever heard of the band Evil Divine? Yes. Oh, my goodness. That yeah, band... we're all friends with them. Yeah. Yes. Well, the guys that were in Evil Divine, mm -hmm. then they became Rumpelstiltskin Rider, Shall uh, Silence in the Shadows. Yeah, right I remember Silence in the Shadows, I remember seeing that Metal Fest. My bass player also is, was an evil divine, so... Said we're all tied together. <laughs> and that's why I like, I, I like talking about a band like this, because, like I said, they, you know, they're not making a great deal of money, but they're, they're doing it for like, how long have they been in yeah. here? Like 20 years now? Um, oh, right? He's been the main guy for 20 years, as far as, I'm, as far as I know. He's had like, almost like Crucifier, he's had a lot of uh, members. Um, a lot of them members went on to form bands like uh, Equinox, um, very recently Druid Lord, a um, bunch of other stuff. Um, what uh, really impresses me though about Asheron is, like I said, you probably said the longevity. Uh, they really haven't altered their sound at all within the past twenty years. No, they're just they're consistent and the, and the, and you know they're they're part of the scene. It's like. It's good to see bands that are just just doing that thing. I like that. And doing I think thing. around the time, I mean, around the time he came out, he was Vincent Crowley. I think was uh, the only like death metal guy that was actually a member of the like the Church of Satan, and he actually was a ordained priest of the Church of Satan at the time. Um, around when Asheron started, um, but I mean, in all seriousness, that band has been kicking ass since I guess 1988, 89. Um, well, they're, they're, yeah. So they're putting out a new album. Uh, it's just be released in the spring. It's called Cult des Cult des Hasses. Hasses. Yeah. Cult des Hasses. Cult des Hasses. Almost sounds like Cult des Hasses to me, but it almost sounds very Italian. Like Cult des Hasses. Manja, manja, manja. Cult des Hasses. Me the baller. They spell the cult with the K. Oh, of course. That everybody's doing that nowadays. So that's that's, how that's cult. Spelled. That's really cold. If you're spelling with a K, it's really cold. It's, it, you guys spell it with a K, it. and then the U has to really be a V. Cold of Lunat. Cult of Luna doesn't spell it that way. They spell it the C. No, they're sellouts. <laughs> Ooh. Don't make them hate. They're already, they're they're art, fans, their fans they're are already hate. Art rockers. They're art rockers, but they make really good fish. because They school. do make wonderful fish. Yes. So I guess uh, everybody's behind this band. Everybody's looking forward to this. I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to it. I mean, this is the first time I've actually heard of this. I remember... Uh, the songs are on YouTube right now, if you want to hear it. The, news, the songs are Look Up YouTube, uh, Satan Holds Dominion, and Asphyxiation, Hands of God. I'll definitely look It's like one up. clip. I'll definitely have to look Nine that up. Nine minutes um, The last time I heard of them is when they had a music video for a song called I Am Heathen. Um, that, 
That video was just crazy. I'm was, it, was that ever a one man band? No. No. No, he always he always had like a revolving door of members. Um, I believe, matter of fact, um, he had a member of Nasty Savage uh, nice. play with him one time. I think Ben Meyer might have been on uh, Those Who Have Risen. Hmm. Yeah, Steve told me it was a one man band. I guess maybe I misunderstood. Him. Nah, not. It, well, he was like the main member, but he had like a revolving door members per se. Well, they're going to be on Listen to More Records, which I is a great label. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that's that's Laurent. My friend Laurent. That's he's the same label guy. that um, yeah. signed Incantation too, right? Yes. Yes. Who was just okay. here last week? We were just talking about that. Laurent is a great guy. He, he, uh, he, he, he's, if you listen to the bands on Listen to More Records, I, I would say like 90 to 95% of the bands he signs are, are pretty um, great. I believe that label has been around for a while. I remember, uh, yeah. didn't he, uh, Signed uh, Ancient, like for their first album. That I'm not sure of. I thought they were on Metal Blade. Uh, no, their second album was on Metal Blade. Their <coughs> first album was, I think, on Listen to Whole Records. He had Butthole Messiah on there. All I know is Laurent. He's a lovely chap. So uh, yeah. So one thing they uh, Di uh, Akron adds is we are not just a band. We are a fucking diabolic war machine. Whoa, sir. Not I to be def confused I, honestly yeah. with, with, the, with the Iron Man character. Yes. <laughs> uh, he's, the believe me, it's, every, every time I listen to anything that's... Uh, Acheron. There's Acheron. No use that language. That's how he, Acheron, not it's Acheron. Acheron. It's Acheron. Acheron. Everybody except me, because I'm saying Acheron. <laughs> it's a rapper. Acheron. That's Akon. <laughs> Completely different. Acheron. Yeah, well, Vincent yeah. Crowley's not talking about butts in this one, so... <laughs> There's no need for the language, though. It's just yeah, an yeah. F word. It belongs in metal at all. Really? That's really offensive to me. <laughs> it's fine being a Satanist. I have no, nothing just against that, but please don't say the F word. Watch the language. Don't drop Come the on. F bomb. Come on now. You're especially, better. especially when you're talking about an Iron Man character. Honestly. Yeah. Asheron, you're better than that. What was his name? Jim Rhodes? Jim Rhodes, yes. Yes! yes. Rhodes. Right. <laughs> he was in the second film. All right. Played by a different actor than he was in the first That was really rude. Yeah. Really rude. What? That they replaced Rhodey. Well, he wouldn't, uh, like, he wanted more money than they wanted to give him. They so. should have just given it to him. I agree. Cause that money made, that, that movie makes like $800 million. Dollars. Yeah. Hmm. All right. And Don Cheadle's a great actor, too. But, uh, I love Don Cheadle. Yes. But uh, what's... The only movie I really liked him in was... Um, Don Cheadle? Yeah, um, Don Cheadle story. No, uh, Colors, man. No, uh, Boogie Nights. Boogie actually. Nights. He was great in Boogie Nights. What yes. about Colors? I wasn't to... a big fan of that movie. What? Did you love Colors? How could you not love Colors? It's so, so great. You I didn't like sure Colors, did you? I never saw it actually. Bobby, Bobby Duvall. Shit, you gotta go home and watch that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, son. That's got fucking uh, Colors is fun. Rob, oh, Rio. Oh. Rico Suave. He's in that movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Geraldo. Gerardo. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and also my buddy Courtney Gaines, who's got red hair oh, and plays a Mexican. <laughs> Fix no sense, but I love it. Outlander! <laughs> I've seen that. Uh, Children of the Corn. No. I don't know. Uh, Children of the Corn, it wasn't really like his best work. Now, have you ever seen... Um, Courtney Gaines? Yeah, you ever seen... Uh, I don't know whether it was him or... Uh, Gaines story. Hard Bodies? No. Um, I think the it was um, Can't Buy Me Love. Yes. Yeah. Yes, when they threw shit. Don't throw shit on my house! <laughs> I don't know any of these movies you're really talking about. I only know what I'm You need to get the entire Courtney Gaines library. Library, yes. We love him in Metal Rolls. Yes, we do. Love him. We love him. He was in Metal Rolls 14. Outlander! <laughs> yes. Love that guy. Uh, don't throw shit on his house. I'll fucking kill you! Is that the guy who was saying that, though? The, huh? the guy who was, he was a ginger? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You remember that now? Yeah. Yeah. Outlander, her blood was steel, unless you give her up. <laughs> I don't know how we ended up in Courtney Gaines' territory, but we love you, Courtney, and uh, Asheron, buy it. Support the underground, bitches. Totes Fade out. Kid. But and if you, and if you buy that album, album, buy the entire catalog, because otherwise you won't be able to understand it. Buy every Asheron album that, that came out from between 89 and now. Pudding. Now nobody's going to buy it because it it's about $3 million to buy the entire catalog. <laughs> just buy one up, you'll be all right. No. <laughs> work, work your way backwards. Pudding. It does start with A. Bye to the camera. Yeah? It is. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.